Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Kumar. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, George. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. So we are uh, Rasia. We are sure that nobody else is joining, right? Yeah, because I don't know what's happening today. Fatiha is actually on a vacation. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, she also told uh, yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Taslim is also not available. Anita, ma'am, she has a family emergency. But yeah. uh, I don't know what's the case with Shweta and Rukmani. I'm trying to reach them. I'm not okay. yet able to be. Okay, so no let's go ahead with. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, are you able to see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's get started this week with community and contribution. Um, so last week it was um, 
finance, right? I hope I hope you all have done uh, what is required for finance and got the clarity and you know continue the action towards that. So let's get started with community con contribution. So, so what is life's greatest question? Uh, let us be more interactive. You can all uh, unmute and mute whenever you want. So what, what are the you know, life's greatest questions we keep asking? What's life? What's the purpose of life? Why am I here? What do I do? Any other questions? You can say it. What are the life's great questions you keep asking once in a while? RB? Rajma, uh, yes, yes, Joseph. What is after life also? Sometimes we yeah. get that. Correct. Correct. Yeah. What happens after we die? What is the purpose? Yes, what's the purpose of life? What's the purpose of life, right? But um, yes. uh, whatever we have done in this exercise also not uh, satisfactory enough, right? We also try to find our Ikigai and our purpose. Did, did you all find that? Yes. Yeah, but yeah, yes. that, may not be, that may not be complete, but still the question keeps coming up, right? So the life's great question, according to Tom Rath, who is the author of uh, this book, Life's Great Question, discover how you contribute to the world. So according to him, what are the most meaningful contributions we make to the world, to the others? That is the life's great question, according to him. Right? Based on his research, he found that life's great question is, what are the most meaningful contributions we make to the world and to the people? So that is what is the week all about. What do we contribute to the people, to the world? Life is about what you do that improves the world around you. It's about investing in the development of other people. Of course, when you are, when you can invest in the development of other people, you should have also developed yourself. Otherwise, you cannot do on your own. No? Without your development, you cannot develop others. It's about the efforts that will continue to grow even when you are gone. Like Josin said, what happens after the life, we may not know, but whatever we do should live after we leave the world as well. So this is what life's great question, according to Tom Rath, which has, I think, a lot of uh, meaning. You can see every great personality, great people, religions, spiritual people, they all talk about serving others, contributing to the world, right? So that, that is a universal theme everywhere, wherever you go, whomever you talk to really, you know, significant people, they will always tell you that you should um, help others, you should service others, you should uh, contribute to the world, right? So that's that seems to be so obvious, but still we uh, don't uh, remember on a day-to-day -day basis. And in fact, there is a research also done in the US somewhere in one of the universities where you have long life, and a better, uh, happy life if you connect with the social people and contribute to others, right? So, so there is so many benefits of doing this. So let's look at that before you contribute to others, what should you be doing? So this is a chart about your levels of consciousness. So this varies from shame at the bottom to the enlightenment at the top. So there are people at various levels, shame, guilt, apathy, grief, fear. So these are all uh, at one level, these are all inaction. You cannot do anything. If you have, if you are you know, dwelling in shame, guilt, apathy, grief, and fear, you cannot do any action. So here there is no question of contributing. If at all you contribute, you may contribute misery to others. So first thing is clean up yourself and move towards the next levels. The next level being desire, anger, and pride. So here it is hyperactivity. You will want to do so many things because you are, you want so many things and you are angry about some things and you have your own pride. And then comes the courage. So courage to look at all kind of things and all points of view and all sides, both negative and positive sides. So this is the middle point. 
when you are in this middle point, there is a possibility of going to the other side. Uh, so which is neutrality, willingness and acceptance. So this is the happiness and productivity uh, part of it. So you should be neutral to everything, whatever happens and willingness to change, willingness to improve, willingness to move forward and acceptance, accepting everything because the world is such that it has all kinds of things. So you cannot say that whatever I expect, the thing has to be the way I expect, not necessary. Everybody has their own way of doing the things. So you should first accept the way things are as it is. And then you can do what you can do. Then comes the reason, which is peak performance without stress. You know, that is where we all want to reach. So we, when you are in hyperactivity mode, you seem to be doing so many things, but nothing is productive. Happiness and productivity is productive, but still there is stress. But when you go to the reasoning level, there is a peak performance without stress. And then comes the, uh, you know, the topmost thing, which we all aspire to, and we all know there are you no know, great people who are doing it, synchronicity and extraordinary outcomes, which starts with love, love in the sense, universal love, not just the uh, erotic or the you know, uh, close, the, the spouse related love. It's much beyond and bigger than that. Love, joy, peace, and enlightenment. So this is the uh, level, various levels of consciousness. And your energy, <clears throat> your energy accordingly varies and you know, the way it vibrates, the way you conduct yourself, the way you interact with, your, with others, it all emanates from inside, right? So we have to focus on changing our levels and moving towards the enlightenment so that we can contribute positively to the world. So that's that's about this levels of consciousness. Any questions on this? Let, let us be interested. Why, why fear and grief uh, uh, makes us in, a, in action? Because when you are in fear, when you are in fear, you cannot do anything. You can see for yourself when you are in fear, you will only you know, try to escape out of the situation. You cannot objectively act or even reason out or to be objectively looking at the thing. So hence the inaction, you cannot do anything. You will only freeze or flight. You will freeze and no, no action. Flight means you run away. So there is no productive action. So grief also same thing. When you are in grief, there is nothing you can do. You will just crumble. You will just, you know, uh, be sad. Okay. Apathy is not bothering about anything. Don't know what to do. No, no reaction, no action, no reaction. Rachna, any questions? Yeah, yes, Kunaya. We have to reach that stage eh, where uh, we should do what uh, love what we do. Yes. Yeah, yeah we can reach if, if we want. Or if we need not reach, that's okay. But at least we should know where we are. It will be good. It will be good for us as well as the world as a, as a whole, if we reach to the top, it impacts everybody. Yeah. And the other way around also, it, when we are in the bottom, it impacts others as well. Mm. Okay, sir. Right, thank you. So let's move on. So, so this is important before we contribute to the world, let us understand where we are and whether we are contributing something worthwhile, something positive to the world. So that's the purpose. So this is something the people are able to measure uh, scientifically. Uh, this is the various consciousness levels starting from 20 to 1000. So at various levels, this is the score, the, the scale of consciousness. So when you say the suffering struggle, and then there's empowerment, transformation, you know, it's moving up that way. 
Um, yeah. Is it possible for people to be in more than one place at one time? Because uh, so often in life you could be empowered in some areas of your life, and you yes. could be struggling. So. Yes, it is possible. It is possible. You may be uh, you may be struggling and also suffering parallelly, and sometimes, you no, know, briefly you may be empowered, right? Or you may be empowered still you you'll be in struggling, or you may be empowered and you are working towards transformation. Yes, it is possible to be in multiple uh, bands, but you will primarily have some stable band somewhere, and then you may oscillate up and down. Yeah, so Rachna, does it answer your question? No, I didn't hear. Anyway, it's okay. Uh, you can be an unmute for for the di no dialogue time. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So, so this is another uh, view. The same thing what we saw before, but here. So I, in action, hyperactivity, I, happiness, productivity, peak performance without stress, synchronicity, and extraordinary outcome. The same thing also, suffering, struggle, empowered, transformation, heart-centered, higher consciousness, saints and healers, God consciousness. So that's the different uh, band of consciousness. So similarly, like the various levels of consciousness for the individuals like us, there is a different level of consciousness for the society as a whole, the community or society as a whole. So the society as a whole, there is a bottommost is survival mode where there is you no know, financial stability is not necessarily there. Economic pro so the, the financial stability is if it is there, it is economic prosperity, health, and defense. If it is not there, then it is crime, violence, greed, poverty materialism, corruption. You can see this in many uh, countries and many communities. So, so it is important to help the society to be more stable, uh, to be survival, survival, survivability through financial stability, economic prosperity. The next level is relationship. So if there is a sense of belonging, then there is open communication, conflict resolution, and racial harmony. If not, then there is an inequality, gender and ethnic discrimination, and many other religious and many other discriminations. So that is the relationship level. The next level is self-esteem. In this case, there is a high performance as a society as a whole, if everything is good. Law, public service, national pride, governmental efficiency. That is a self-esteem of the society. If it is not that, then there is a bureaucracy, elitism, central control, Auto, uh, no, autocracy, all those things stops. So from this self-esteem of the society, there is a transformation, next level. This is continuous renewal of adaptability, accountability, equality, freedom of speech, consensus. Many of the you know, Western countries uh, follow this. The next one is internal cohesion, strong cohesive culture, shared vision and values, trust, openness, fairness, and transparency. So some of these governments are doing, like Singapore, for example, they may be uh, going at the next level, making a difference, strategic alliance and partnerships, environmental awareness, regional collaboration. Then the service, topmost, global sustainability of the society as a whole, human rights, future generations, global perspective. Probably some governments, uh, countries like Singapore are there somewhere six or seven, but we also know so many con you know, countries still in level, level one, countries and communities in level one. Uh, so this is where people uh, uh, in uh, public service, in the politics, uh, should understand and help the society to move forward. It is not only the people and government and politics, even we can also help with whatever the society we are in, whatever the community we are in, we can work towards moving the consciousness level of the society or community as a whole. So any questions on this?
So moving on. So this is uh, more based on uh, what Tom Rath has written in his books, uh, Life's Great Question. So the contribution, instead of following your, your passion, find your greatest contribution. So it may be your passion as well as contribution may be same. But what he says is that your contribution is much more important and valuable than your passion as such. In the end, you won't get to stay around forever, but your contributions will. That is the crux of the whole thing, you know? Your strength and efforts must be focused on specific contributions you can make to other people's lives. The key is to invest more time where your talents will yield the greatest return for others, not just for yourself. Life's meaning is measured by your contribution. So that's the significance of contribution to the society, to the community, and to others in general. So he explains that how do you contribute? What are all the uh, qualities you may have or you may want to develop to uh, do effective contribution? So here he, he you know, uh, uh, lists out 12 such uh, uh, strengths or capabilities, uh, separating, starting from, um, you know, create, create the contribution mentality by initiating, challenging, teaching, and visioning, and then relate to the people by connecting, energizing, pursuing, and influencing, and then operate in the you know, contribution level, organizing, achieving, adapting, and scaling. So these are all the various skill sets you may already have, or you may want to develop, which will be useful to contribute to the society and develop the society as a whole. So these are the, uh, so we'll briefly see each one of that, what it means. So initiating is initiating new efforts or new projects, new um, uh, things, uh, no, you may want to, there are so many people who really you know, come out with, create some new products, so new conversations, new ideas. So if you are one such person, you can look at you know, what is important for the society as a whole, world as a whole, you can initiate uh, uh, whatever it is. So here you can bring the groups together, you can share more information. You, you should have obviously self-confidence to do this. So how do we get started? The secret of getting ahead is getting started. So just get started. The initiative is very, very important. So the people with the initiative mindset can contribute to the world by creating new ideas, by creating new conversations, by creating new products, by sharing information. So some of you may have this mentality or you may want to develop this uh, strength for yourself. The next one is challenging. So are we doing the right things? Check that. The power to question is the basis of all human progress. Challenging the status quo, right? And help the people to grow. Inquisitive and new sources of information. Learn, read, and ask questions. So that is a challenging part of it. So this, this you can see some other people in this uh, you know, forum also, you can see you know, the way they challenge uh, no, the way they initiate. So you can also do the same thing for people around you, the society around you. Next one is teaching. So if you're good at teaching, you can educate people on the specific aspects, information, objectivity, creativity, group discussions, discovering patterns and connections connecting the dots and explaining to the people, explaining the concepts and ideas to the people. So that's something you can do teaching. So some of us here are really you know, interested and good at teaching. So this is also a contribution to the society. Visioning. So here, imagining and visioning what should be the ideal status or the you know, improved status of us as a whole. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So dream big, new ideas, introspection, big picture, leading with ideas. So this is the visioning. So we also talked about our own vision board and our own visioning. So we can also vision for the community and the world as a whole and the society. Connecting. So this is another important thing because we are human beings. We have to, the connection makes all the uh, difference. So how do we connect people to our mission? 
you ne you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view her, her point of view that is very very important so when you want to connect with the people you cannot just look at only your own point of view you should look at from the others point of view and then connect then you can create something much more better things conversations social networks time and energy asking questions human well being advocating pro product services teams or initiatives so because when people come together with the common objective with connection then there is a lot of energy involved and you can achieve whatever you think it is impossible now but if you get the people who are connected who are sharing the common vision you can achieve a lot so that is the importance of connecting energizing how do we get and stay charged the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others so joy through daily routines boost well being motivated to inspire others smile laugh and have fun be creative building relationships serve others so these are all the way of bringing and creating energy in the team and society and the people so that everybody gets that energy so this is also a way of contributing to the world perceiving so here one can you know you may be very very perspective you know per, uh, perceiving person what does each person need people will forget what you said people will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel so that is the perception importance of perception create strong bonds between people community and consensus gifted listening conflict and stress management and sensitivity that is very important so if you are sensitive and if you are you know be with the people and listen to them then they will contribute they will come together and contribute in the whole thing instead of judging you should perceive that's the most important thing judging is just straight line but as perceiving is right it can go in all the ways you should really look at because that is how the human beings are influencing so what can we grow our client how, how what can we grow our client base or how do we really influence others how wonderful it is that nobody need to wait a single moment before starting to improve the world so persistent and persuasive deep belief new partnerships and relationships to influence and making people come together new ideas passion and credibility synthesizing expanding and sharing so these are all required to influence others so that when we get people together we can achieve something great for the world as such because you cannot do on your own alone you as an island you cannot do anything big which is required for the world so you need to have the influencing capability some of you may have already you can utilize that organizing organizing another thing like you no know, it's not only influencing organizing is a skill on its own so some people are good at that out of clutter find simplicity from discord find harmony in the middle of difficulty lies the opportunity so preparing preparing ahead anticipation anticipating getting the things done being reliable trust and confidence finding common ground so these are all the basic qualities required for organizing so organizing a team organizing a meeting organizing a uh, initiative organizing a new launch so all those things you can use your skill of organizing achieving so how can we get more than always be the first rate version of yourself instead of second rate version of somebody else people learn better through example model for others perform with excellence so once you show the excellence others will follow and then the whole community will benefit out of that adapting how can we adapt quickly to changes intelligence is the ability to adapt to change because things always keep changing so we have to adapt there are people who are good at adapting there are some people who are not good but adapting is required natural improvisation spontaneous life is interesting and unexpected things to be handled scaling this is to really how to scale the thing so we do it in a small scale but how do we do it in a bigger scale so how can we reach out to the more people without continual growth and progress such words 
as improvement, achievement, and success have no meaning. So there is a continual growth. The ability to reach more and more people, scale up products and services, and smart work. So these are all the ways of scaling up. So if we have either one or more of such capabilities, we have very good chance to serve others, to contribute to the world as such. So we do, so we all contribute and give something or other because uh, uh, that always happens. But only question is, could we consciously give? Could we consciously contribute? That has more value. So what other things we can do? You can be present to the people, just listen. You can do prayer. You, you know, it doesn't cost these things. It doesn't cost anything. You can share your, of course, you can spend your time and of course you can do the work. You can share your knowledge. You can do the things. And of course, you can also contribute money. But people by default think that contribution means I have to give money. Not necessarily. There is only one such thing. There are so many other things which doesn't cost you much, but still it can be a great present to the people, great contribution to the people. You give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. For what are your possessions but things you keep on God for fear you may need them tomorrow? Khalil Jibran. Every individual in the world has a unique contribution. So that is something we have to keep in mind. Don't think that you know, we are not contributing. We are contributing, but can we make it as more conscious contribution? That's the main thing. So this is something that this book, when you read, uh, it has you know, some tests. So in that I have taken my test, this is the result of my test. So defining uh, roles, my roles, good human being, parent, and a good friend. So most influential life experiences, creating amazing teams from the scratch, travel and trekking to Himalayas, understanding uh, new concepts and mathematics, strengths, calm and courageous, approachable and helpful, learning and contribution. So these are some of my uh, defining things. Your greatest contributions are adapting, scaling, and teaching. So this is what came to me in that test. So this is about the book uh, I showed at the beginning. The Life's Great Question by Tom Dahl. So with this, I uh, end the presentation. Any questions, um, discussions, clarifications? Let's go through that. Thank you, Roma, sir. Thank you. That was a very informative, as usual. Full of information. <laughs> Big time to sink in. <laughs> it was, it was. Yes. So anything, any questions, any clarifications, anything, let's have a discussion. Let's give our feedback. Everybody, uh, let's start with uh, Joseph. Let's give our feedback. So very thought provocative, provocative topic. So, um, so uh, like I always, or mostly we always uh, relate contribution, the community contribution to the money, right? Yes, we all know that, okay, the time knowledge and the sharing part is also there. But that aspect, at least for me, it was always overlooked or, you know, uh, maybe I should always, uh, I should, reevaluate that part and uh, spend more time there because I think maybe that's where I could contribute more. Of course, the money part is there, which I used to do in a little bit of uh, uh, in little bit of phase. But yeah, this time, knowledge and other part of it is very important, which uh, I used to overlook. I think I should spend a bit more time on that one. That's that's what I would say, which I got from 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 the current presentation. No questions are such because you know it's it's a bit of uh, uh, too much um, thought pro provocative topic for me. So yeah, that's all from my side. Sure, sure. Also, we evaluate you no know, those those qualities, those twelve qualities. If you have, it will be very useful. You can you know use them for contributing to the world as such. So it yeah. it will become natural to you if you really identify. You will automatically contribute to the world. And also, you know, the simplest you know, the people would think that, no, I don't have anything to contribute. They can just do the prayer. You know, that itself is the greatest contribution. 
I was also thinking that contribution is contributing money. But uh, there are a lot of ways uh, to contribute to the community. And uh, if you think and explore uh, in which way we are in a better position to contribute. And, uh, that is what coming to my mind after uh, listening uh, uh, the presentation. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will first. Uh, uh, can you share the questionnaire or uh, to explore ourselves uh, in which way we are good in contributing? Uh, yeah. So, uh, questionnaire in the sense uh, you can look at those ca capabilities. What I explained, right? Those twelve capabilities, and then see which one you are good at, and then that can be a way to contribute others. So when you are saying questionnaire, what are you asking? I am not getting. Uh, 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 you are, you have shown your uh, profile. No? You are. Uh, uh -huh. that you are good at. How do we arrive there? Oh, okay. That is th this book. When I bought this book, it has a, a, a key, product key, where you have to go to online test. Okay. 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 That is there only when you buy the book. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Mm. But yeah. in any case, you can go through the presentation and see for yourself which mm -hmm. quality you have and uh, how you can utilize that for contributing to the world as such. Mm -hmm. And it will be satisfying for you also. It is not yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so far, I have just uh, uh, sent money or help uh, others buy money and spending time with them if they are in need. Right. Uh, apart from them, I haven't done uh, anything uh, more meaningful. I should explore. That yeah. is what yeah. uh, I have the feel now. Yeah, yeah. particularly yeah. if you are good at any of those uh, uh, characteristics, those uh, uh, strengths, you will easily contribute. You don't, you don't need to you know. You don't need to put a lot of effort. You don't need to really worry too much. Naturally, it will yeah. come. So if you identify it is a good for you, good for the society. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, to add on to it, you can contribute through your knowledge, your space, your time, anything that you're provided with, your food, your clothes. Uh, it's, it's a common notion that contribution is always comes with money. We have also uh, Sadatha and Zakat and all those things. So it always comes. But uh, even, you know, if we have two pieces of fruit, we can contribute one. That's how we are taught. And that's how easy contribution is. It's basically how in whichever way you can help the other person in front of you. So keep that in mind and find your opportunities and possibilities. Anything, like anything. I'm contributing time. So that's what is, I would say that's the most precious thing anybody can contribute, right? Time. Yeah. So yeah, time, space, knowledge. Which yeah. cannot be bought with money. Yeah, yeah, and you should feel you should feel happy when you are contributing. So don't get yes. into something where you feel stressed and you feel bad about it. So that is not the real uh, useful contribu contribution. So there are n number of ways of contributing. So wherever you feel comfortable, wherever you feel really enjoying the contribution, that is where you should contribute. Don't go into the other way where. You feel compulsive. You feel you no. Know, you are compelling somebody. You feel very difficult. That is not the real contribution. The, the first one you talked about uh, the level of consciousness, right? Yes. Yes, of course. When your level of consciousness improves, automatically you will contribute. You no, know, mm -hmm. without any question. You In all naturally. Yeah, naturally. Yeah. Natural. Natural. Correct. So that's why when you see some of the evolved people or the you know, uh, spiritually evolved, people will be naturally attracted towards them and then you know, they will, uh, just their presence alone will be sufficient for uh, you know, elevating the whole society's uh, state as such. So would you be able to share the first two slides um, 
where you're talking about various levels of uh, consciousness and various levels of beings for the individuals not yeah, as a society think, yeah rachana the whole presentation will be there in uh, uh, you know in the uh, facebook i think it will be uploaded ஒரேஸ் <laughs> no and then the levels of consciousness so i'm uh, um, somehow i'm just trying to recall and also want to add more information on this particular point which is the self esteem right when we are talking about the level of consciousness um there is a self esteem layer can you please explain me a little more on that layer yeah yeah let me bring that uh, presentation yeah sure thank you razia check the time i don't want to take much time but uh, if members are asking question yeah, then i will yeah, yeah. yeah. The, this diagram uh, jayashree in this diagram Hyperactivity. Our next yes, one. Yeah, Just ring. Oh, sorry. No, no. I, I think the next one. Where it? it no, the next one. This one. I. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is about the society as a whole. You know, self-esteem means the self-esteem of the community or the society as such. Mm. Right. So. the society uh, see some society they will they don't bother you know they are just you know ignorant and you know uh, they don't bother what happens to the society they will just throw the dirt they just you know behave whatever the way they want whereas okay. in the society with self esteem they will follow certain rules laws public service national pride governmental efficiency so those are all the self esteem things Whereas okay. they don't have self-esteem, they will get into you no know, bureaucracy, central control, or autocratic, or just you know uh, not bothered about anything, right? Okay, that's, so that's the, the uh-huh, self-esteem the, of the society, not only the individuals, the society as a whole. Mm-hmm. So if somebody says that you no, know, you are uh, uh, you are a Singaporean, they they know how to behave, you no, know, uh, as a as a country, mm-hmm. as a nation. right okay so if uh, there is an indian they you know they have a certain you no know, level of self esteem certain level of characteristics certain level of helpfulness or whatever you define mm, okay okay got it got it ramesh thank you yeah, yeah. anyone else having any questions i just wanted to clarify that that's why jason rachna kumar will ah, we only have uh, three people today yes, shweta was there but uh, she went out mm-hmm. okay okay so yeah so, so i yeah. also have sent the uh, feedback form in the zoom chat please take some time to um, give the feedback of the session so what we are doing is we will introduce this feedback form in the zoom chat itself okay from today onwards so please just take it it it, it, it is a very simple form and it's a very easy form so just take few minutes to complete the evaluation which is really really important for us to you know improve add and further modify everything you know so it's it's, it's highly important as how uh we are giving the session so please take some time to complete the feedback uh razia maybe you can make sure to get the feedback from others once yes. they view from the fp live yeah okay so i will suggest do it now <laughs> so that we are not postpone it 
let's do it now and let's come back okay i think because we ended the session is doing yeah i think that's the best thing we can give it to rama sir and for the whole you yeah. mom uh for creating all these sessions so please take few minutes yeah yeah it is also a continuous improvement right well, like we, we mm. looked at yeah So please so just see on the point of uh, yeah rama sir self self esteem for the society so mm -hmm. there no there probably the question came from where is the self the self is the society itself is the self yeah. actually that is how that is how the whole universe is organized you know every mm -hmm. autonomous system has its own self like yes. for example the earth, earth as a whole is a you no know, in, in its own is a kind of being mm -hmm. you know? it is not only the uh, the uh, living beings everything becomes a kind of entity on its own when it's you uh, know uh, come together or as individual so everything has its own life true 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 very true very true we always think only the individual but yeah everything has uh, rama sir we are talking about self esteem self esteem of individual or as a society yeah exact that is what i was just clarified self esteem of individual is very important but in that slide we talked about self esteem of the society of the community of the country so what i was saying is that every every uh, group everything becomes a kind of autonomous system in itself so there is a self esteem for the earth as a whole the earth itself is an organism so it has its own self esteem so similarly whatever you no know, th there are so many dynamic things which come up and has its own uh, life that's what i was explaining to jayshree so for example this this particular uh, umm3 as a whole is a kind of its own organism and today the particular team we are meeting now this has its own existence and its own uh, uh, life Okay. Out of these six people, so it can be very, very dynamic. See, our life, we ourself, we may live up to eighty, eighty years, but this particular uh, six-member team, it it exists for this particular uh, period. Mm. Okay. So as a group, also we measure the consciousness of the group yes. as a yes. country, and uh, so as the consciousness improves. the result also improves so which is shown on the right side of that uh, yes we can and take you it can change the, uh, you can change the consciousness levels as the individuals mm -hmm. for this group we can change the consciousness from you no know, lowest to the highest if the individuals come and contribute at that level and everybody's consciousness and the group's consciousness improves as a whole Yeah, and Rama sir, you yeah, all got it. Sorry, Kumar, we'll go. Yeah, yeah good, good. Yeah, just. Yeah, and I think you were also sharing with. Um, um, you were also saying when Razia was asking a question, or uh, when while she was sharing, or you were also talking about. Um, of course, to any contribution, we should be feeling happy about it, or you know, we should be having Correct. that. Correct. Correct. And and the fulfillment, right? and uh, of course when we start or when we want to do definitely we will be having that w what is your um, what is your stand on few things where in between you know in between or during the journey of the contribution or whatever in between if you see a different kind of sensation or you know something is not working as it started in the beginning it's it's very common right it's it's yeah. not only the contribution area it can happen in any area so right. but I'm curious how you see this in the contribution area if something happens in between yeah so it is exactly like what you are saying in any other area you will have uh, uh, learning you will have challenges you will have uh, uh, differences of opinion when you start doing it so over a period you will identify which is your um, the real ikigai of contribution true right? 
so mm-hmm. so during the process yes you will go through all kind of challenges yes uh, you may sometime you may feel uh, elated sometime you may feel really pathetic sometime you feel you uh, know uh, really is it worth it uh, you may feel pain which is okay which is okay that is a normal process in anything what we do at the end of it when you really experiment when you consistently do few things then you identify yourself which is your uh, uh, the smooth way of contributing for example contributing money it may be painful for somebody but contributing time may be very smooth and you know happy for them right but yeah. you can experiment both so initially True. when you have some money it looks like easier but on a long term basis money is not the way for you to contribute whereas right. spending your time or you no know, doing the prayer you are happy to do that and it it comes naturally so it is it is a experimentation all kind of things will come but after the uh, experimentation after the analysis after uh, reflecting through the experiences you can identify which is your uh, uh, ikigai of contribution or which is your uh, uh, smooth way of contributing uh yeah got it so even in, yeah so even in the contribution also we we need to experiment correct <laughs> yeah yeah see anything anything in life it doesn't come just like that naturally you no know? whatever comes first that is not the end of it no it has exactly. to be uh, experimented it has to be reviewed it has to be uh, balanced only then it will uh, become something and or it has to be done see also you do something and uh, it works if you stop doing for some time again it becomes uh, no difficult thing so it has to be practice it has to be uh, continuous stuff like habits yeah is from us i got it so yeah i was also asking this question because i thought it will be um, clear to uh, other members also because when we say contribution we think you know like as razia was saying time at least for some time is a big big thing to contribute right but when you down the line you understand that the time is not even uh, taken care in the way how you fell how you started then i can see what rama sir is saying that experiment right so yeah. whether that place that time is really uh, effective in that place and then we experiment in other places and of course we also uh, i i think rama sir sometimes we stick into one particular contribution factor of ours and not even seeing the other factors which we yeah. might have and yeah. then we decide the thing yeah But like in actually, anything in life like in anything in life it is you may be ignorant of the existence of other beings so that is where your continuous learning is important yeah. even in the way of contributing sure. you should understand what are all the various possibilities there are some things which are much more easier much more better for you to contribute than what you are doing today so that continuous learning continuous improvement is required here as well yeah okay yeah mr thank you so much yeah it is it is true in every single thing for example in my mobile if i wanted to delete uh, all the unnecessary you know uh, pictures media files so initially initially i was struggling one by one i was deleting but then there is a way to select all <laughs> and and you know and select only what what is uh, uh, you know what you want to retain and then remaining you can delete you no know? so 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 got it got it yeah so yeah friends actually this community contributions and development is one area we purposely added uh, in the ultimate mastermind program itself um after starting the program to be honest so kumar avel josin and rachna only we, we three are here but still we uh, we just want to insist how important is this area because it's a see when rama sir is explaining about the different levels and then you know what level we are and what are the other factors there not most of us at least we know there is a money area there is a family area and you know there is the other areas in our life but inside this community contribution how many things are there and in what level we are working i think it's it's really important to um understand this concept so 
I'm sure this session would have been more helpful to all. Thanks, Josen, for giving that feedback. Um, yeah, Razia, is, um, you can take over. So. Uh, I think, yeah, we are uh, well ahead of time. 7.53, it's 6.30. It's about to become... So I didn't get uh, Raj. Yeah, I did Raj not get um, Rachna and Kumar Avail. Yeah. Research. So please do that now. Come back and then we'll end the session. So message. I, I just sent uh, my response. Yeah. Okay. okay. As in Jeshu, you, you mean the feedback? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, I'll, I'll update it. Sure. Okay, so let's end this session. Right. Thank you. Yes, it was a great Thank you so much. Sorry, it was a great morning. Thank we you. Are, and we are starting the week with contribution in mind and hoping to see everyone has, you know, all the information in head and is ready to do something that will help us. Anything, anything that can, that will bring you happiness and bring the per person in front of you happiness. So, Let's, uh, towards community and contribution, let's end this session. Let's have a yeah. wonderful yeah, day, well, wonderful week ahead. Yeah, well, one question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rama, sir. Yeah, uh, my, my suggestion would be if you ask uh, some questions one day before yeah. regarding the session, yeah. so that we can prepare ourselves, our mind will be prepared to receive the information. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Uh, because to digest the information <laughs> at the same time, I feel uh, very difficult. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. One is preparation. Second, follow-up, right? So now, what is the follow-up? Let's at this preparation we didn't do for this. We will do it later in the subsequent session. Sorry, because I, I'm feeling it uh, difficult to digest the information as quickly as I receive. Sure, I'm a not, slow learner. No, no, that is true for all of us, Kumar. Uh, I, I agree to your point. So, Jayashri, let's keep this in mind. Uh, Jarasi, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so, I also yeah. want to add one more point here. Yes, that's why we call this as expert session, Kumar. Avail. We take a deep dive into that area which we never ever thought. You know, <laughs> we thought community is money or community is time giving time or that's it, right? But I, I really understand when you say it's too much and for me to uh, you know digest the information, yes. Uh, I think the purpose is solved when you say this. You know, we have taken a deep dive in that case. But yeah, I understand your question of uh, setting that preparation level. And um, yeah, when we share the poster itself, no, you would start exploring. You will, you will also create your own questions. So basically when we say this is this week, two days back we announced this is the week, right? So you can also start explore things on your side and then come back with your general questions, not relative to exactly the session, what the speaker is going to do. Basically, it's not only for that session, for the whole week, I mean, you know, uh, whatever questions you have, see, we are starting from wheel of life. We are assessing, a, you remember the initial questions, how to assess your current position of each and every area. There it starts, right? Definitely from there itself, you would have, have 100 questions, right? So that was only to assess the current area. And when you do the project, start setting your goals. When you create your goals under each area, definitely there you would have another 100 questions. So I would ask you to have all those questions at one place. And then, you know, while we do this weekly focus, please come and ask all the questions all the um, doubts, queries, clarifications. Yeah, that would be uh, beneficial on your personal front, right? Because you have everything in hand, right? So the only thing um, you won't be knowing is how exactly the session is going to be, right? Uh, so irrespective of the session, I suggest everybody to come along with your personal questions, personal clarifications on the particular area, which would be really helpful. And I will also take this um, note on telling that from our side in the group, please, you know, have your questions and come, right? So um, that we will also initiate because yeah. we are... So, 
Yeah, as you rightly said, Jayashree, I think everybody should come out with that. But the the presenter yeah. and the anchors and the uh, organizers could be the yeah. catalyst, catalyst yes. in the team to uh, yes. uh, you know, you know, trigger people to ask questions and also yeah, give yeah. some pointers and all those things. I think that is what Kumaravel's point is. Yeah, yeah. So he as the point. presenters and organizers can be... Uh, be catalyst to uh, generate certain interest in this and uh, material. Yes, yes, yes. So let's do yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We will do that. And um, so this assignment for this week. Yeah. So the assignment for this week is uh, uh, first and foremost. Uh, first will, question is also send it in the poll. Uh, yeah, we can send it. Just let me list out. Uh, so the first thing is list out what are all the ways of contributing to the community right now so how are the what are the ways in which you are contributing to the community as of now second look at all these 12 qualities explained and identify your qualities that is the second and third look at how you can utilize these qualities to do community contribution so these are the three assignments so we will share this also in the WhatsApp group. Come yeah, on again. I'll, I'll share Not to worry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Can start what we want it. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Let's okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rama sir. Thank you so much, Kumar Vail, Jocelyn, and you. Razia, Rachna. Yes. Okay. So to a wonderful week ahead. Let's do our own research based on what we've listened to today. I know it's a lot to digest. We'll be sharing the presentation anyway on the group, so you can go through the slides again. Okay, it will refresh your memory and it will uh, help you to uh, research more also in whichever way you can contribute. There is, once you get into it, you'll find any number of ways to contribute and you'll understand which one is more suitable for your space and time what your and your abilities to mark that let's end the session with uh, what you do let's have a wonderful day bye guys bye 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 have a great day bye 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 bye